noite que acolhe os que buscam a luz e a sabedoria. Mãos que amparam, que curam e que nos guiam. Palavra que nos conforta e nos enche de energia. Força que nos faz ver no escuro a luz do próximo dia. Estrada iluminada que nos mostra a direção e o caminho. E nos faz sentir seguros, sem medo de andar sozinhos. Quando buscamos a ti, voamos qual passarinho. Enviado do Criador, rebanhando teus filhos por mim. Sou feliz por ouvir teu conselho, por contar com tua mensagem. Quero ser uma ovelha. As a child of God, I am greater than anything that can happen to me. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth on this magnificent Casa Day where the current is now running, flowing fluidly, freely and easily out from the portal of the Casa de Dominacio across the world into each and every one of our hearts, this house of love where the medicine is love. And we have another spectacular day here. We just had a downpour and the clouds are gone all white and fluffy again. <laughs> Weather is amazing. And we are grateful for this nourishing rain, just bringing so much abundance and joy to all of creation, nourishing our crops. And of course, we have mangoes falling everywhere and the birds are enjoying them also. And 
and you can hear them maybe serenading us in a divine symphony happily and generously and we're being held in this magnificent high vibration of mother nature and we are so in gratitude to be able to come together as one family and dedicate ourselves to this sacred work wherever you are in the world relax if you're lying down great if you're on a crystal bed even better and if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current with our heads elevated just a little feet firmly on the ground do not cross your arms legs and allow this majestic high vibration to connect us across the miles this current of love and light and if you have a glass of water beside you we'll drink it at the end of the work to nourish us mind body and spirit so as we close our physical eyes and leave the material world behind with all of its stresses its problems its difficulties we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances all there is. We are reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body, we're so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil, these magnificent entities of light and love with us 24 seven. And today we celebrate God's children, which is us, all of us, carnate and disincarnate. And I'd like to dedicate this work today to our beautiful sister, Haitomi who has departed this life and left her physical body and she is now preparing to work beyond the veil with the entities of light and love that held her so much while she was here in her short life on earth and very much working now with the entities of the casa. So we are all together now in the astral. From the moment you entered this world, you were a child of God. It doesn't take some special thing you do or become to make God love you or to become acceptable to him. When God looks at you, he sees his child. A person he loves unconditionally meaning there is nothing you can do that will make him stop loving you. To be loved by God is not based on your performance, how many convictions and standards you keep in an attempt to reach holiness or the personal choices that you make. It means there is something from our heavenly parents inside of each and every one of us a piece of divinity and that there is nothing I or someone else can do to take this away ever. We can't become more child of God by our own merits and we can't become less child of God by our errors. We just are children of God. The divine is just there, within. And when something upsets us, our errors, our rotten circumstance, exhaustion, we can ask, does this threaten our core identity? And the answer will always be no. That's great news. We're just human after all. We still stumble. At times, we still feel insecure and defensive and scared. We still try to stumblingly cling 
to our lesser identities. We're not perfect beings yet. That's why we're here on Earth. We're working on it. The more we identify ourselves as children of God, as children of love, forgiveness, long-suffering and kindness, the more our self-worth feels solid and stable, built on something everlasting and unchanging, something good and pure and true something that defines our very essence. So let us just take this moment now in celebration and allow all of this to sink in good and deep. So with this magnificent high vibration in our hearts, as we make our way through these challenging days, knowing we are not alone, let us pray to the one who loves us the most. pray with open hearts, joyfully, without ceasing, trustingly, happily knowing that we're all children of God and we are safe in the arms of our Creator. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation rather deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. And to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace, we ask you in this sacred moment to intercede for us, your children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these dark days and for us all to go inward on the journey of the heart and to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the humility, the love, the forgiveness, the joy 
the gratitude deep, deep within us. And it is within all of us. We are divine beings, children of the divine consciousness. Helping us all carrot and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation, into oneness, out of sickness, into well-being. One heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family.
more beautiful, Dom Ignacio and St. Francis Xavier, both incorporated entities of the Casa. Founded the Jesuits, the Company of Jesus, over 500 years ago, to love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God. And Dom Ignacio recognized the precious dignity of children, saying children are souls which belong to God. Saint Ignatius said children who are often regarded as the most marginal and insignificant of human beings, both in the 16th century when he lived in human form and now to this day are in fact God's treasured possessions who merit respect and service. And the Jesuit Pope Francis expresses the same conviction. A child is a human being of immense worth and may never be used for one's own benefit. We know that both Dom Ignacio and Pope Francis learned this attitude from Jesus himself, who graciously welcomed children and became indignant when the disciples tried to keep them away from him in their mistaken belief that children were unimportant and unworthy of the Lord's attention. Dom Ignacio recognises that it is very easy to forget and neglect care for children, noting in his prolific writings that the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, not forget those who are most easily forgotten because of their apparent unimportance to the rest of human society. Particularly children. Today, more so than ever before, we are called in an urgent way to recover and strengthen St. Ignatius's foundational attitudes of respecting and protecting the dignity of children. We live in a world where the dignity of children is forgotten and violated. Children are victims of poverty, war, trafficking, forced displacement, terrorism. Children are forced to serve as soldiers, child labourers, sex workers and drug mules. Even the church cannot escape its share of responsibility for grave disrespect of the dignity of children as we confront the painful reality of sexual abuse of children perpetrated by religious and other pastoral ministers. Today's children are tomorrow's adults. The future. And we were all children once or twice. Let us feed our inner child and lead by example. Let us work tirelessly through the Christ consciousness and the teachings of Dom Ignacio to deepen and strengthen our practical and effective commitment to the protection of children always, to make them feel respected, safe and loved all over Mother Earth. Let us pray. God's love shines down upon us 
like the light rays of the sun. God's love is poured forth lavishly like a fountain spilling forth its waters in an unending stream. Just as we see the sun in its rays and the fountain in its waters, so God pours forth a sharing in divine life in all the gifts showered upon us. God's delight and joy is to be with the ones called God's children, to be with us. God cannot do enough to speak out and show love for us, ever calling and inviting us to a fuller and better life, a sharing in divine life. Amen.
with this explosion of consciousness happening now on the planet. Many people are really struggling. Painful endings are bright new beginnings. And we are awakening to our divine essence that we're really not the body. We are so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And these vehicles of clay have been lent to us by Mother Nature. And when our lessons are learned and our work is done here on Earth, we will leave these vehicles of clay behind and continue living in our spiritual world where we came from, the celestial fields. Life is short and we have been given this gift of life by God. God only can give and take life no one else. So let's do the best we can here and realize our divine essence and we're all equal, the same, all part of the same shining web, the God consciousness. Children of God, sacred trinity of innumerable names, whoever or whatever you perceive God to be. No exceptions. We are part of creation. Just like the birds and the bees. Everything is resonating on earth, vibrating, and we are part of this. Life is fleeting and we need to remember every day our divine essence, that we are fluid, free, belonging to a bigger, gorgeous, divine cosmos. From the Prophet by Khalil Gibran and a woman who held a babe against her bosom said Speak to us of children. And the prophet said, Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts, for they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls, for their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, not even in your dreams. You may strive to be like them, but seek not to make them like you. For life goes not backwards, nor tarries with yesterday. You are the bows from which your children, as living arrows, are sent forth. The archer sees the mark upon the path of the infinite, 
and he bends you with his might that his arrows may go swift and far. Let your bending in the archer's hand be for gladness. For even as he loves the arrow that flies, so he loves also the bow that is stable. Amen.
Ishmar. His good bodies. Our hard work is over. And let us become aware of our breath. This magnificent, fragile gift of life we have been given. Taking a long, slow, gentle, deep, deep breath. Into the heart center, the center of our being. Breathing in the future with all of its hope its promise, its love, its forgiveness, its gratitude, its joy, its abundance, its happiness. And let us breathe out the past with all of its problems, its anxieties, its fear, its pain, its hurt, its anger, grudges, resentments, anything that no longer serves us that's stopping us, holding us back from becoming more children of God. Letting go, surrendering, anything, everything that is not from the light. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall like the waterfall here at the Casa or any place of sacred running water that you know, with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise generously serenading us in a divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colorful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is why we're back on earth. This is the work we need to do to let go of anything and everything that's blocking us from stepping into the light, the very essence of our being. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling, and there are many in these challenging times. Our brothers and sisters who are feeling suicidal, depressed, abandoned, unloved, unwanted. Homeless. The children of the world. They're innocent. They don't need to suffer. We need to honor their dignity. Now more than ever, they are the future. And we've all been their children. And any of our brothers and sisters who are suffering at the hands of extreme weather, the fires in America, Earthquakes, tornadoes, floods, hurricanes, all natural disasters, drought, famine. God is merciful and will help his children in these trials of life. And let's bring our brother Medium Chua into this high vibration. And anyone who has suffered or is suffering on account of the problems of the casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light. Especially remembering our beautiful sister Haitomi as she continues her journey without her physical body. May she work with these beautiful entities and may we feel her presence helping us now from beyond the veil. Thank you, Hi to me, for your service here on earth and your ongoing service.
And as we receive this magnificent high vibration from on high, pouring into our open hearts, let's share our bounty with the world. There's more than enough love and light to go around. This majestic high vibration gushing forth into all hospitals, helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, patients, and anyone who's in a caring capacity now on Mother Earth. Pouring into nursing homes, helping our elders, into hospices, prisons, orphanages, asylums, anywhere, everywhere on planet Earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering in pain or are hungry. This God light pouring into all war zones, anywhere there's riots, unrest, conflict, disharmony, fighting, bringing peace in our lifetime, not only for ourselves, but for future generations to come. Our children and their children and their children. Everyone's a child of God. St. Regis always with us. To God, all things are possible. This unstoppable high vibration penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who's in a position of authority over another human being, helping them to wake up to our divine essence, children of God, no exceptions. To make good decisions about our future and the future of this tiny little planet we call home for now, all of creation all resonating together, brothers and sisters. And let's start by putting people before profit. In this sacred moment, this pristine crystal clear energy enveloping mother nature into all of our ecosystems, regenerating regrowing, nourishing. Mother Earth's already bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God. God is great. Miracles abound. Right here, right now. This majestic high vibration, growing, expanding, multiplying, pouring forth over all Gaia, enveloping one and all creation, growing as a balm for the suffering of our brothers and sisters, carnage and disincarnate, all creatures great and small, as it pours forth into infinity. May all beings, with and without bodies, all of God's creation in all universes, be happy, humble, cleansed, awakening to be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful ever-growing current of love and light. Amen.
And as we bask in this majestic high vibration that we are now all receiving all over Mother Earth into our open hearts, we are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together as this beautiful collective consciousness, one family. To the portal of the Casa de Dominacio, the house of love, where the medicine is, is love, beaming out this high vibration right across the globe, so needed in these difficult days. Recognizing that we're all in this together, brothers and sisters in the light, all children of God. No exceptions. And thank you, God, for sending all of your messengers of love, ascended masters, angels, archangels, guardian angels, elevated spirits, unseen beings. These phenomenal entities of light and love, so many of them, are beautiful. Dom Ignacio and his huge phalange of light workers with us 24-7, helping us to realize that all we need to do is to ask with a contrite heart and we will receive everything we need and more. Dom Ignacio was calling all of his children back home. Thank you always for the presence of our beautiful brother Jesus, Prince of Peace and the entire Christ Consciousness working through the chasm and our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light over all of us, their children, here in this valley of tears, helping us to realize that when our earthly life is over and life is short and the lessons are learned, we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields with all of these magnificent holy beings, brothers and sisters beyond the veil, where there's no more suffering and no more pain. How great is that? And to you, my beautiful, brave brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for your dedication, your commitment, your courage, your faith, your love, your forgiveness, your hope, your light. shining brightly to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God love and service helping all of the children in the world it's easier to fix disturbed children than broken adults. So let us love and forgive everyone, everything. As we learn to live by faith and not by sight. Your faith is healing you. Your family and friends, your extended families, everyone around you and Mother Earth and your love and your light shining brightly as you dedicate yourself 
to raising your vibration, the work of the light. You're raising the vibration of the entire planet, so everyone wins, and it's becoming a better place in which to live, going forward together. United we stand. You're doing an amazing job. Stay elevated. We'll get there together. One family. Thank you. Let us pray. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small doesn't serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are born to manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us. It is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Amen. Love, loving, love. Namaste.